I would probably turn this into like a pizza slice, right? Like trying to just model up maybe, you know, one portion of it and then figure out like it looks like it's symmetrical in some way. And then you could kind of like patterning it around if you got to do something, something like this. But the question is, what about when it goes over and under? So you can kind of see how something is going under and something is going over. Um, the only best way to do that inside of Fusion 360, I think, um, is to use the, the sweet tool. Uh, this might not be, you know, this is going to take a little bit of work. Um, but what you could do was, let's open up a sketch on the front plane here. And if we do like a uh, two point rectangle, make this one 20 by uh, 30 um, and use something like the sweet tool. So we could go ahead and just make this straight, for example, right? We can go ahead and make that straight, but you could also break this into two sketches. Um, so if we open an, so we have one sketch here of this one, if we go ahead and we open another sketch in the top view, we could draw a line out here, right? And then we could turn, oops. <clears throat> and then we could go in and maybe do something like a three point arc on this, right? And, um, and then use the sweep command. And we will get something like that. And that's probably also what I would do to create the over. So on the over, let's open up a sketch. Let's maybe do, just to make it easy, let's do it an offset plane. So we get something over here. And uh, let's draw a sketch on that. I'm gonna do another rectangle. So what did I do before? I did 20 by 30. This is gonna keep something symmetrical. I don't think I placed this. See how this one is floating around? So maybe do coincidence from here to here. And let's place a dimension from here to here. Remember that, that's 20. Uh, because now I could go ahead and do something similar as you just saw me do an offset plane from here. And that's gonna be 20. So I make sure that that intersects with that. So if I open a sketch here, um, I could hit P for project and kind of borrow that point. And now maybe I go in and do, we just did spline before. And I could kind of model a spline that's gonna go over here like that. And use the spline, you could, you know, P for project, project this edge and do this point to, well, probably wouldn't do it to the midpoint because it's gonna, Go underneath there but just for the heck of it uh now when i do the sweep from here to here i'm just going to do that as a new body i know it's touching as an intersection arrow but um that's kind of like how you would have to model going over or under unless again you go into do um you know the form environment where you can dragging and pulling and do crazy stuff like that. But this is kind of like your way in a mechanical CAD to model something up. And I would also say something like this, that's, you know, that's a good test for a mechanical CAD system. There's definitely other systems out there that maybe would work a little bit differently with, with something with something like that. But great uh, question from Ian. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. Love your comments. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I know a lot of you haven't. A lot of you have, and I love that. A lot of you haven't. If you don't mind, that would mean the world to me. If you think, well, only do it if you find this content helpful. If you don't, then don't bother. All right.